Okay, next we have A Jump Into the Unknown, Reality Benders, book number five, Literary Series, written by Michael Atmanoff. It is 453 pages. It is $6.99. It is not on Kindle Unlimited as of this recording. Um, here's the author's description. We put an end to the war with the Dark Faction, but still, humanity's problems are far from over. More than half of the game's promised tongue of safety has elapsed, and yet humankind is no closer to forming a unified front. We've just been built, begun building one of the twelve planetary shield units where it is necessary to give Earth complete protection. But we don't have enough construction materials, players, or time. Should we ask the, par uh, the parallel magnocratic world for help? Sorry, magocratic? Um, after all, an invasion from outer space would hurt them just as bad. The mages, though, have plenty of problems of their own. What options does Nat even have here? All he can truly count on are his own strengths and his personal relative faction. Should we put all our eggs in one basket and look for help in deep space? My technology from ancient long vanished races allow humanity to grow strong enough to turn back the onslaught before it's too late. So there we go. Uh, full disclosure, I received advanced copy for review. I purchased a copy when it became available. Um, this is another interesting slice of life space adventure for Nat and his crew. That's kind of what it turns out to be. As soon as the um, plot line with the Dark Faction was finished up a couple books, though, uh, the rest of the series, book four and five, kind of just became more of the slice of life adventure with the main character going on space doing stuff. And that's what this continues to be. It is entertaining. It is not... Um, it is very slice of life feeling though. Um, there are minor art progressions for the advancement of the earth storyline. Um, but there's a lot more just like general space stuff again, space battles, um, interesting fights, interesting kind of intrigue stuff going on a little bit here. Um, and also a very, actually a really neat ending that I thought was, has some really cool story potential and a way to kind of shake things up a little bit in the um in the story universe so hopefully that turns out to be something really neat but well we'll have to wait and see until like number six comes out but for now this was kind of a good solid middle of the road entertaining story gets a score of 7.5 out of 10. Uh, let's jump into the unknown reality benders book number five with a score of 7.5 out of 10. if you like book number four this is, has a lot of the same kind of um sections um so if you like book number four you're definitely gonna like book number five i did